Heather from Painted Real Fiber Arts, and today is Monday in our PJ's Yarn Chat Podcast. Hi everyone! I hope you have all had an awesome, wonderful weekend. Um, I had an eventful one, like you saw in the last um, um, podcast, uh, why I couldn't do one on Friday episode. Um, so, alright, so there was fires up in LA in a couple days before the fire happened out here, and then it happened a little ways from my house, but since there was so much smoke and like debris in the air, we ended up having to leave our house and go over to the husband's parents' house. So we went over there and we left in like in the middle of the night of the day that the fire started happening, and that way, um, in case it spread our way, we were safe. So we voluntarily left, and our house area was literally a couple streets away from the evacuation zone, so it was pretty scary. But then um, the next day, everything seemed to be better under control since the winds were less windy, and by that evening, we were able to go home and everything, which was really awesome and everything. So shortly after I did that video, we ended up seeing the news later on in the day and seeing where the evacuation zones were, and they made it like a lot smaller, the area, because they had a lot, enough time to clear the fires, so, but not totally contain them, but at least made it where people can go back to their houses if you weren't in the fire zone, it pretty much was like in the area that was supposed to be as long as no more um, winds happened or any more crazy weather that caused it all. So anyways, to make it a long story short, um, we ended up going, after we came back home and everything, and between um, the fire situation and everything, and our house being luckily enough okay, um, I ended up just uh, finishing a few things, but I do have a bunch of things and uh, prop, a bunch of works in progress, as well as I have a bunch of Christmas things, I have the Cook With Me video stuff, as well as some unboxing, so there is a bunch of future videos coming up, as well as a bunch of items that are made for each one of these things, so <laughs> these are just the ones that I can show you that aren't part of videos or something, or not quite finished. <laughs> so, um, I have these three things that I ended up um, working on and finishing, in spite of all the chaotic stuff that happened over the weekend and as of last week and everything. So, um, this is what's going, um, so this is what's uh, going on with my finished objects. Um, first, I'm going to show you, okay, so I made a couple other um, of these before, s'mores. They were a raspberry one, which was a raspberry colored yarn, and a chocolate one that had chocolate drizzle on it instead of the rainbow one like this one. And they were white marshmallows, and, and it was a lighter brown bottom, and you can watch that podcast. It was a couple of podcasts before this. I can put the, I'll put the link down below because I don't have the objects in my hand right now. Anyways, so I decided to make a light pink one for like a strawberry one with some cool rainbow topping. And I did the topping a little differently than the other ones because it was a little bigger than I thought with the kind of yarn that I used. I needed to use more than I thought, but it worked out actually better. It made it look cooler and less and less likely to have some of the drippings go over the eyes. <laughs> Anyways, I made the graham cracker part like a chocolate graham cracker instead of just regular graham cracker. And I just um, thought it looked really cute being different. And this one will be up in my shop as well as the other two currently are in my shop for sale. And uh, so this is how I made it. And even though if you watch the other podcast, you already know. Um, oh, and the link how to make these will be in my blog so in the next day or so. I did update it a little bit. That's I will talk about in a little bit. Um, anyways, um, so pretty much I do single crochets the length that I want and then I um, crochet um, crochet uh, single crochets all the way down and then I create up the other side so it ends up being worked in the round. So you go around and around and around to the size that it's supposed to be. So it's a piece of graham cracker. Then you sh sew it shut um, and then you can crochet it after, like I did, I single crocheted it after I sewed it shut because I thought that looked way more better than the other ones looked when I originally had it done. So I gave it a nice finished edge and I did the same thing for the top. For the marshmallow, it is worked in the round magic loop or you can create a circle through chains and you can do, it's increase, decrease all the way around and you can do the little um, back stitch so you create a flatter bottom. You could also put a piece of 
like wood or a piece of cardboard or a piece of plastic in the bottom to make it stand up more better, but I think it stands up great as is. It, obviously not in my hand, it's going to not stand up good, but when it's laying on, something that, on a normal surface, it does stand up pretty good. Um, but I'm probably going to put something in the bottom next time so it's a little less likely to fall over, but I think this one's going to end up being an ornament on my Christmas tree. As well as I think they, that s'mores would Smarks, not smorks, s'mores make great Christmas ornaments. But anyway, so it was increase, decrease all the way around, and then I did back loop for the top, and then I start, put the eyes on, which are 8mm black eyes from 60 to 60 eyes. The link down below so you can know how to get that. Get their eyes if you're interested. They do hand painted eyes as well. And then, um, the lips are black, are black uh, embroidery floss, and the rest of the yarn is all DK yarn, 100% cotton, paint box yarn, with the link down below, and then the rainbow is from um, Expression Fiber Arts, I'm not sure if she still has rainbow or not, but I will still put her link down below, and that's a hand painted yarn that is 100%, um, 100%, uh, uh, 100% salt, super wash wool, sorry, and the D DK yarn is 100% cotton yarn from Paintbox yarn, and then the Expression Fiber yarn is the wool yarn. And how I did that, the little drizzle things is pretty much you do, in, um, do you create a magic loop in a circle, increase, decrease, and make sure the circle is shut, and then you do little like um, extensions off of it that are just chains with single crochets and it creates these little drippings and it looks really nice and it looks really yummy and it almost looks like so yummy you can eat it. So what I like about it, that's the front and back and top and bottom are just grand pedicure pieces and it's a super fun, easy to make pattern and it's so addicting I'm going to be making a lot more so you'll probably see a lot more in the show <laughs> as well as they'll be all up in my shop. Um, and then the really cool designer that makes these also makes lots of where you start off making like a flat piece of thing and the flat object that is not piece of thing, flat object and then you do the other side that's identical and then you sew them together and then you cr or you or you um just crochet them together but I decided to sew it first and then crochet it this time so anyways this is how you make it this is a cute little Christmas tree it's going to become an ornament I'm going to make a little top to it I had apples a couple like I think last episode or the episode before this that I'm going to also turn into ornaments and they'll all be in my store and I have an apple that's going to be on the show soon too. <laughs> Spoiler! But anyways, um, these are 8mm black safety eyes, black plastic safety eyes from 6060 Eyes. This is um, cotton embroidery floss that I just created the decoration which is supposed to be lights but they kind of came out a little funky as well as the face and pretty much you um, single crochet and it's two pieces. Front is one piece, back is the other. They look identical, but one will have the decoration, one won't. And you do sing do chain, and then you do single crochets, and you do it up to the size and everything with increases and decreases. This is all like decrease, and then you increase a little, then you decrease and increase. Out. It's it's interesting, but it creates a tree, and it doesn't look like a tree much until you do the finale on it. So you'd create the front piece which is you put the safety eyes in, you put the face on, and you put the decorations on how you like. You can do it any way you want. You don't have to do the little lights like I tried to do. And then the back you can just leave blank or you could put decorations on it too because trees are decorated both sides. Uh, Christmas trees they are. At least I decorate both sides of my tree. <laughs> and then um, you sew it together I, well, she says you could just crochet it together, but I say sew it shut first and then leave a little opening and stuff as you go because if you don't stuff as you go, you're not going to get in the points and everything. And if you don't sew it first, then sometimes there'll be little gaps or it just looks less nice and finished, I think, and you end up either having to crochet around again like I had to do with apples or you have, or it just doesn't look the shape you want, I think. It helps shape it. So pretty much I just sewed it up, sewed it to the shape, ran around and left little openings and stuffed as I went, made sure it was in each little point as close as possible, and then um, the good thing about this is they don't have to actually go to the point point if you do them, can't quite make it, they still look cute, because that's the style they're supposed to be, it's supposed to still look kind of like, just lightly stuffed, not heavily. 
And then afterwards, I single crocheted all the way around, and I did little special things to the points like she suggested in the pattern. And, um, yeah, I ended up working out really good. I really like it. It's great for beginners and for people that have done this a while. That's what I like about these, because beginners and advances can do it. And that's how it looks best then. Cute little Christmas tree. Sorry if I wasn't close enough in the beginning. Alright, and then last but not least is a cute little tea bag. I'm going to make a whole bunch of these. I think they're super cute. They make great little ornaments and um, keychains they would make and just decoration around the house throughout the year. And, or just a desk decoration. Everybody that loves tea would love one of these, I feel. I know I love iced tea. I love my Snapple and I love green tea and I love I love flavored tea, I love tea. So this is a good, really cute and adorable. And it's a cute little Ami Garami Kwai styled uh, um, tea bag. Um, the pattern makes it look a little different. I don't know, for some reason, I guess when I sewed it shut, the top looks a little different. So the next one I make might look a little more like the pattern or not. But anyways, you do um, single crochets and then you uh, you chain first, then you do single crochets, and you go front and then the back, and it creates like a, you work it in the round. So you go round and round, increase, decrease, all the way down, then you create a little tiny flap thingy that you then end up stuffing. You put the eyes in before you change colors or after. I suggest putting them out in before you change your colors, or if you do it one color, when she suggests you to, because I did it the opposite way till the very end, and it wasn't too fun to shut the eyeballs. <laughs> and these are. Um, six millimeter eyes from 6060 eyes. They are black eyes. This is a uh, kind of embroidery floss I made the mouth with, and I did both those right before I stuffed it. So after you do it, increase, decrease, and either do the color change or you do it before, and you put the safety eyes in in the mouth, and then you stuff it. Then you sew it shut. Then you create this piece, and you attach it to the top. And then this is pretty much just a square. You just do single crochet, I mean chain, and then single crochet to the shape that you want, and then I single crocheted it all the way around, and I did it more than once, I'm like, she just said to do it once, or to make the shape, and I did, so it looks a little different, but it looks similar, and then it creates a cute little kawaii amigurami style tea bag, which is cute, and it looks super cute if you have, if you make like a little tea cup with it, or a coffee cup, some people like the little bag coffees too, <laughs> so um, I know they have that, but if you make a little tea cup or coffee cup, and whichever way you like to drink your tea, then you put this next to its cute little gift set for someone else or for yourself. And I'm going to be a cute little cup to go with them. So excited. Anyways, that's it for finished objects. Um, I'm happy to have shown you those. Um, Alright, so let's go what's going on with me. So between fires and appointments and all these crazy things, it's been a crazy adventure kind of week last week, like I was saying, um, and everything. I'm just so grateful that our house is okay and that all the people that um, live near me and, and everything are all okay. But for those people that have lost their like whole homes, I just feel so horrible about because that could have been me. Not just could that it could have been me, but the fact that it's just like the worst thing that could ever happen when everything that you care about, but that's just things, and at least all that matters is that you got out in the end. Um, anyways, um, so I am making a, another tea bag. It's going to be a green tea one. Um, but, so yeah, like I was just saying, like, um, like fires are just so devastating and unexpected, expected. And it's just so crazy that they keep happening out by, over by where I live. Like a couple years ago when my son was like a couple years old, there was a fire not too far away from when I was living at my parents' house. And the air was pretty smoky, but it was in the distance. And if it was really windy, we probably would have been evacuated kind of thing. Because it did start not too far away from us. And they, they just have these like little creeks that seem to light on fire easy out here. And little um, pieces of brush and stuff. And then... With the lack of rain and the no humidity, it just creates a fire hazard thing during certain parts of the year, especially more so. Like, usually you'd be getting rain around here, and it wouldn't be as hot, and, but it's been like 80 degrees weather and, and like, super dry with no rain. So it's like, anything can happen with that, any little spark will start a fire. 
which is really crazy and scary. But anyways, um, other than the little fire craziness, um, everything's been going good. Um, I'm just doing my normal, I had, um, like last week my son had to do dentist appointment, so he had to get some teeth fixed, that went well. I had an appointment and that went really good. Um, and then, um, just normal mommy things and everything and just trying to make some videos for all of you and make some cool crocheted objects for for me and some cool Christmas ones and some other fun stuff that will be up in my shop soon and um, trying to update my vlog. I did update it a little bit. I will be adding more and more patterns but since it's been a while since I wrote in it, I uh, didn't have time to write it all so I wrote a small amount of patterns so I will do next layer and next layer throughout the next few days and then hopefully it's done and um, I'll be updating Instagram and blog loving and Twitter and Facebook as well and I'll be making lots of awesome videos for all of you to entertain all of you so I'm gonna let you go because um, my son's gonna be home soon and I want to get this edited and all set up for him I mean not set up for set up before he gets home and lucky enough my dad's nice enough to pick him up which I so appreciate so I'm able to do this video and edit it for all of you and get it up on YouTube. So that way it's not up at midnight my time, which is like the next day everywhere else. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, that's what my plan is to hopefully have everything be done and finished as well as some other videos that will be up throughout the week. So stay tuned to my channel. Um, and yeah, so let's hope my video editor behaves itself so I could make all these videos happen for you because it likes to glitch on me because it's really made for an Apple computer, but I have a Windows computer, and my Windows computer isn't as powerful as the little Apple computer that I would like to get, but it costs too much money, so when I have enough money, I do want to get this really nice Apple computer that will be way better, even though I have a really nice, very nice, very, very nice uh, Windows computer, but it's not quite... Um, it doesn't quite like video editing equipment, it doesn't like videos, it doesn't like any of it. It just wants to do video games, it wants to do internet, it wants to do pretty much anything but video land. It will do photos awesome, it will do Photoshop good, it will do everything good, but when it comes to video editing land and videos, it's like, ah, I don't like the rendering, ah, get away from me. So yeah, that's what it does, as soon as it goes and tries to render anything. Oh my, it's a, it decides to crash. So, it's so annoying and I really wish that it wouldn't do that because I would really not like to have to invest in another computer, but I have been wanting a Mac computer for a while, so I'm excited to be saving up money for that. Anyways, so, um, so yeah, um, so I'm going to be letting all of you go, like I said, um, I, please uh, check out my blog. I will be having lots of awesome patterns that are from all my podcasts that I've been lacking to have these patterns on, including the patterns from the things you saw today and other videos in the past, including the present ones. They will all be up on my blog, so that's how you, where you can get all any patterns that I have, anything that I've crocheted or made, um, you can get any of those patterns on, on my blog of where I got them from. And that is at https dot dot slash slash pdevelopfiberarts.com. The link is down below. As well as please visit my Etsy shop if you would like to help support me. And that is at https dot dot slash slash www.etsy.com slash shop slash paintedworldfiberart. Or you could just go https dot dot slash slash www.etsy.com and then go into the little search section and type up Painted World Fiber Art and then there I am. And the link is also down below. Is by subscribing and by also hitting the like button if you like this video. Um, I also love comments. Please comment down below. Oh, I want to say a special thing about the comments. Thank you so much for all of your sweet, kind words and comments that all of you have said to me. I really appreciate each and every one of them. Please follow me on all of my social media, such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Blog Lovin. Um, all those are links down below. And I think that's about it. So I will talk to you next time. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.